Demarzio are a name in the guitar sphere that are super synonymous with rock and some really just outrageous tones produced from their super iconic pickups since way into the early 80s. That's why we were lucky enough to have Demarzio and Ibanez send us four guitars that are loaded with some of their most iconic pickups so that you can get a real listen to how the differences are between them and also just see which one is right for yourself. Now, I'm not gonna have a lot of explanations of kind of, you know, the sort of highs and lows, the EQ graphs and everything of these pickups. I will put a link in the description to Demarzio's website, just in case you do want to see any of those graphs or some more in-depth detail. What this video is really gonna be is just me playing all four of these guitars, sort of going through all the pickups. There's gonna be a few different tones per, but I'm gonna play the riffs pretty similar, so if you want to pair different humbuckers to each other with a high gain, you can do that as well. Now, obviously this video is going to be split up into chapters so you can check out like a particular set of pickups or a particular, you know, sound that you want to hear. Each of these four guitars have kind of been put into a certain bracket, which I'll explain before playing each of them too. We're running all these guitars through the exact same setup today. We're going through a Fender Handwired 65 Princeton and for the distorted tones, I'm using a Strymon Sunset for the first kind of crunchy sort of tones I'm going through just the first side kind of going for that just light overdrive and then on the second side I've got a much higher gain you'll hear that with some of the heavier tones as well so kicking us right off here this is the traditional pairing from DiMarzio that's what they've kind of called this setup here and just to say as well that every single one of them are in an Ibanez AZ Essentials 40 guitar which are it's really really cool HSS sort of designs you know really good kind of mid-level guitars that just sound awesome and play great. So for the traditional pairing here in the bridge, we have a PAF 59 bridge. We have a red velvet single coil in the middle and then a true velvet in the neck. Let's check them out just now.
on to our next guitar. This is the classic pairing from DiMarzio. So in the bridge, we have a tone zone. We have an Air Norton S in the neck, and then in the middle is a fast track just there as well. We're definitely like moving up a bit in the gain here, but not anything like proper, like insane levels just yet. So when I said we weren't going into anything too crazy previously, this is us going into absolutely screaming crazy territory now. This is the heavy pairing. The configuration on this model here, we have a super distortion in the bridge. We have a cruiser in the middle there and up the neck is a pro track. That's the couple of double blade ones there. Semi similar to what we had in the last guitar, but with this one, you are getting a lot more output across the board.
So onto our last model of the day. This is the signature pairing, which incorporates a few different signature models from the DiMarzio line. Kicking in with the bridge, we have the Utopia, which is the Steve Vai signature humbucker that is in his brand new Pia guitar. In the middle, we have the Notorious single coil, which is Tim Henson from Polyphia's signature model. So anyone looking for that really compressed, kind of modern, clean tone, it's really going to enjoy that. Then on the neck, we have a Satch track, which is Joe Satriani's signature neck pickup here. There's a lot of varied tones across this one. This is probably going to be the most like vastly different between each sound. So hopefully all those sound examples give you just a little idea of what DiMarzio pickups can do for you. Now there is obviously quite a vast catalogue and some of the pickups we didn't even get a chance to touch on with these four guitars today. But it can just show that, you know, for a brand that's maybe known for their high gain pickups, there is a lot of flexibility and a lot of different sounds to really cater your guitar needs. But what do you think? Are you a big fan of DiMarzio pickups? Are they installed in your guitar? Let us know down in the comments below and give us a like and subscribe while you're down there. That really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. But until then, I've been Kieran and this is a bunch of Ibanez guitars with DiMarzio pickups in them. Have a great day.